Aubrey, we have some amazing Band 9 idioms today for our students. Yes, I am excited for these. All four of the idioms you're going to learn today are going to really help you use that idiomatic language you need on IELTS speaking. Not only that, this is exciting because it's part three of a three-part series. So we may have some new listeners today that came from Allers awesome. English or Business English that heard part one and part two. So if so, welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome everyone to IELTS Energy. Um, these idioms, guys, these are totally native and natural. So this is exactly the type of language you need to use on the IELTS exam to impress the examiner, raise that vocabulary score, not sound like every other student, but also this is stuff you want to say in real life to sound native, right? Yes, exactly, right? It's just more fun. Idioms are so much more fun. It makes learning a new language not such a chore. But if you did miss the first two parts of this series, if this is new to you, we want you to be able to find them. So the first one was May 15th on Allers English, episode 2200, Amazing Adverbs Part 1, definitely or absolutely. This is super useful if you're taking IELTS as well, because these are great adverbs to throw into your speaking answers or your essays. And then what was part two, Jessica? Part two was Business English 257, Amazing Adverbs. Part two, certainly or surely. All of these adverbs help your score, guys. We always are encouraging students to use more adjectives and adverbs to increase their vocabulary score. Stay until the end of today's episode, guys, because we will give you our favorite idiom from today and give you an extra example that you can use on the IELTS. IELTS exam. So let's get into it. The first idiom is on the nose. This is so cute. <laughs> on the nose. It just means exactly, right? Um, it's often used if it is a guess or even a description of something. If it is like a perfect description or a hundred percent correct guess, we're like, you got that on the nose. That was on the nose. Yeah, you might say her description of the movie or the book was right on the nose. So then once you watch it, you realize like, oh yeah, what she said is exactly right. This is so useful for IELTS speaking because you're often describing things or referring to other people's opinions or your own. And in any of those, you can share that something was on the nose, meaning it was very correct. It was very exact. Yeah, this would be perfect on IELTS speaking part two, because you're always asked to describe something, describe a person, describe an event. It, uh, it's always describing. And so after you give your description, you could say, maybe that wasn't exactly on the nose, but it was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yes, I love this one. And for anybody who's not taking IELTS, use this in your daily life. It's so fun. I love, especially if someone's learning English, we're having a fun conversation. They throw in an idiom like this. I'm just tickled pink. I love it. I'm like, that's such a fun idiom. I don't hear tickled it enough pink. in regular life. Tickled pink means I'm delighted. I'm just tickled pink right now. That's so cute. Oh my God, so many cute idioms. All right, the next one is on the dot. And this is a very specific meaning about time. It means exactly on time. How can we use this on IELTS? Yeah, if you're talking about a trip, describing a vacation or saying where you want to go and you say the flight landed at 2 p.m. on the dot. Mm -hmm. So we were at the beach by four. But anytime, if you're talking about an exact time when someone arrived, they got there at 7 p.m. on the dot. It means yeah. they got there right at 7. Totally. In part one, maybe you're asked if you are um, a person who arrives early or late. That could totally be a part one question. Use this, right? Either positive yes. or negative. Say, um, honestly, I, I am always very punctual. I arrive on the dot for everything. Or you could say, I mean... I, I don't know. I'm really busy. I try to arrive on time, but it's not like I get there like exactly on the dot. Um, yeah, right? So you could use so it either me. way. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. So the next one is super fun on the money. I love saying this. Um, this is very similar to on the nose, right? Um, it just means exactly, precisely, perfectly. How can we use this on the IELTS exam? Yes. I love this to just say something is really good, like perfect as in you approve. Like I would say these cookies are right on the money. Mm -hmm. Means like mm -hmm. they're perfect. They're so delicious. 
Yeah, totally. And it could be a direct synonym for on the nose, right? Like, yeah. um, you could say, uh, let's see, I'll, I'll try to describe this book. It may not be on the nose, but I'll, this is the best to my memory or something. Yeah. And you could use the same one and be like, this might not be right on the money, but this is the best I can remember. Exactly. Exactly. And if you're describing like a film or a performance, you could be like, I saw Romeo and Juliet and all of the performance were right on the money or they were on the money. It means like they were so good. They were perfect. They were exactly what you expected. I love it. So good. All right. So we have one more idiom and then um, we're going to tell you our favorite idiom from today and give you a really good way to use it on your next IELTS exam. So this last idiom is without a shadow of a doubt. This is a longer one. So only use this if you could remember it word for word, right? Because if you get even one word wrong in an idiom, it does not help your vocabulary score. So be aware with these longer ones. So without a shadow of a doubt. Even though it's longer, this is the easiest one to use from today because it's it just means absolutely, right? Undoubtedly, totally. Yes. So, so anytime an you're example? sharing yeah. an opinion, right? Yeah. If you want to say like you have no doubt about this opinion, you're very secure in it. You could say like, I, you know, I've never liked zoos without a shadow of a doubt, I would never go to one. <laughs> totally. Yeah. <laughs> it's easy to use, guys. And so that's going to be my takeaway for today is that I think this last idiom, guys, is if you only remember one thing from today, remember this phrase without a shadow of a doubt, because it's the easiest one to use correctly, because the meaning is so broad. It just means totally or absolutely, right? Anytime you're saying what you think, how you feel, giving your opinion, you can use this idiom easily. So for example, in speaking part three, if the examiner says, um, do you think libraries will, I always use this example, (laughs) do you think libraries will exist in the future? Um, You could say, without a shadow of a doubt, I am 100% certain that libraries will always exist. Yes. And here's a little pro tip. I hear students often say, hands down, this Mm. means the same thing. So you can use it instead, especially if you've already used hands down in like your part one and you're in part three, maybe you're talking about, you know, whether money should be spent on concerts. You could say, I saw Madonna live last weekend and it was without a shadow of a doubt, the best concert I've ever been to. Definitely worth the money. So you could also say, right, hands down, the best concert instead use this more impressive idiom to boost your scores. Right. Oh my gosh. That's such a great takeaway. All right, guys, make sure you hit follow on this podcast so you never miss an amazing episode and check out All Ears English and Business English, guys, because they have amazing vocabulary, grammar, so many awesome lessons that will help your IELTS score. Um, All right. Awesome. Thanks for uh, teaching these idioms today with me. Yeah, you too, Jess. See you next time. Bye. Bye.